Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you how to install and run AMD's Adrenaline software on Steam Deck running on Windows 11. On my deck I have installed the latest Windows APU driver. It was released on 17 November 2023. Now Adrenaline offers a lot of useful features. I primarily use it for calibrating the colors of my Steam Deck's display. For this tutorial video I will be following Bald Sea Lion Steam Deck Windows Guide. I will drop the link to the website in the description of the video. You can refer to it if you are looking for step by step instructions. Now there are a few things that you need to know before installing Adrenaline. After updating to the latest Windows APU driver, older version of Adrenaline will stop working on your Steam Deck so it's recommended to just uninstall this older version before updating to the latest Windows APU driver. If you are installing Adrenaline for the first time on your Steam Deck, don't need to worry about this, you can go ahead with the installation. If you encounter any missing DLL errors while installing Adrenaline, just install the latest versions of Microsoft Visual C++ and DirectX. You can download the latest Visual C++ files from VC Redis GitHub page. I'll drop the link in the description of the video. Download and install these two exe files. Microsoft DirectX website. Click on the download bar here to download the latest version of DirectX. Install it on your system. So after installing the latest Windows APU driver, do not download the latest version of Adrenaline software. It's not going to work. You need to download this version of it, 23.9.1. Just download it from this website, I'll drop its link in the description, AMD's official website. Then click on this link in order to download the version of Adrenaline software. I have already downloaded it. Once the download is complete, open the file explorer and go to download section. There's the exe file. Now you still won't be able to install it directly. Let me just launch it. An error will pop up. The app is scanning Steam Deck's hardware. There's the error, something went wrong, error 182. Software installer detected AMD graphics hardware in your system configuration that is not supported. Close. So just download 7-zip software. Go to this website. Click on the download link. I just sent to 64-bit Windows x64. I have already downloaded it. Go to download section. Run the exe file. Install. Close. That's it. Now right click on the adrenaline software file that we just downloaded. Click on show more options, then click on 7-zip, then click on open archive. From here don't execute the setup.exe file, just open packages folder, then open drivers, then open display folder, then open this folder wt6a underscore inf, double click, then open this folder b395348, then you need to scroll down until you find this exe file triple c2 underscore install double click execute the launcher it started can take up to 7 to 8 seconds installation complete just click on close in order to access adrenaline settings just right click in the desktop background area it's not showing up here we just need to restart our system my bad here you go. Restarted the system. I'll right click in the desktop background area. Option for Adrenaline software should show up. There it is. So our installation was successful. It launched. I'll make a few tweaks. Go to create. All of the games installed on your same deck will show up here. Click on graphics. Scroll down. From here I'll enable Radeon image scaling. Set it to 100. Then click on display. Steam Deck display does not support AMD's FreeSync variable refresh rate technology. Enable GPU scaling. Set it to preserve aspect ratio. You can also access GPU scaling settings from Steam Deck tools. It's here. Different options. Now I'll calibrate the display's colors. And just enable this setting. Custom color. Make sure color temperature control setting is also checked. Need to tweak these parameters. Not a fan of the default settings. I'll set the color temperature to 5900. Brightness level to 7. Hue set to 0. Contrast set to 107. And saturation set to 132. Display will look more vibrant now. Colors will pop. That's it. 
I can observe the change in the display's colors. So that's it with the short and simple guide. I like the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.